Microplastics are any kind of plastic that measures five millimeters or less, either broken up from larger pieces or are manufactured. Most of us are aware that they're invading our oceans, but what actually happens to these tiny plastic fragments in the sea? The good news is some super smart people are on the case. Meet Lauren Howell. I'm a researcher with the Ocean Pollution Research Program. Microplastics are now pretty much part of the whole ocean ecosystem. It's degrading, it's going down, different plastics have different densities, so they're sinking at different rates, and that is sort of the deeper problem of plastic and microplastics in general. Here are three key ways microplastics move around the ocean. Biofouling, or biological fouling, is the buildup of microorganisms, plants, algae, or animals on submerged surfaces. Things like epiphytes, so bacteria, algae, are attaching and kind of colonizing onto that particle and causing the density of that particle to increase and allowing it to sink to the bottom. That same thing is happening on a smaller scale for microplastics. Food chain. Microplastics don't just float about harmlessly. They've infiltrated the ocean ecosystem, largely by being accidentally ingested or mistaken for food. It's getting ingested, eaten, by organisms like zooplankton, and a fish ingests that zooplankton. And as it makes travel between oceanic zones, other animals that eat it are like, oh great, a delicious fish snack. So they are now predating that fish, and that fish has eaten a zooplankton, and that zooplankton has eaten a plastic, and so that fish is now the inheritor of a microplastic. Poop. Uh, I don't know how to say it. I, I, poop or feces? Poop is better than feces? I think maybe a bit of both. <sighs> if an animal is able to excrete the plastic, it continues its journey, sinking lower and lower into more oceanic zones. There are animals that, that uh, they feed on feces, so they are like, oh great, a delicious feces Ooh. snack, and inside that is this stupid plastic again. Now we have this plastic that's made it all the way from the top of the water, down, it's been eaten, it's been biofouled, it's been resuspended, it's been eaten again, it's been pooped out, it's all the way down to the bottom, and now it's there for a new animal to consume. This all sounds like an insurmountable problem. Is there anything we can do? We're in the discovery phase, but eventually this will be more of a solutions phase, and that can be tackled on like a larger scale. But I think for us, it's just making those decisions right where you can, plastic bags, wrapped food, styrofoam containers, like I often bring my own container to a restaurant now. <laughs> As this decision becomes more natural and more people start to do it, that's really gonna help the problem. I don't know, too many words of feces. I should have said that in a different way. <laughs> Lots of shit talk.